Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2, where I am going to do what I promised in the last one, and go do something important. Well, I do, like, I really enjoy the mining stuff, or, like, exploring planets and stuff. At 50%. Um, we do probably need to get doing on something important. Let's make sure we'll get the fuel and stuff. Okay, and I don't know why I need to need more probes. Okay. And let's go get um the Justicar and then we will talk with Liara. I don't want to do the Shadow Broker DLC until I've gotten all my pals. I don't know why, but that's 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 just I feel like that should be a priority. And again, I'm not really playing this how I like usually I'd be like bolting to go get everybody, but I was kind of in an exploratory mood for the last little bit and I just wanted to kind of explore some planets, get some missions. Uh let's get uh Oh yeah, we don't have our other one. Let's leave Yeah, I just, I, I like to be able to see their eyes, I don't, I don't know, it's just me, so. Let's bring Garrus. Wait, 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 no, yes, that'll be fine. Yes, because he has tech and he has, um, yeah, you're fine, we're fine. Oh. I keep forgetting that's how you do it. Okay, Thane has some biotic abilities and Garrus has uh tech abilities. Engineering type. This is a recall. They're both snipers though. I didn't I didn't realize that, dang it. Oh well. I think I'm just gonna freaking turn down the volume in here for a minute. Oh, just for me. Oh, also, let me know how the audio is. Um, uh, I've been messing around with it, like, uh, trying to make sure that, like, my voice can be heard, because I, for a long time, for most of my Let's Plays, I've actually made my voice a little bit too quiet, I just don't want to be yelling over everything, like, I don't, like, I when I watch Let's Plays, I like to hear the story as well as hear the commentary, and it annoys me when the game is, game is too quiet, and it's just the commenter, like, talking, and then if I have it on in the background, and I'm just, like, doing something else, all I hear is the commenter talking, and I can't hear what's going on in the actual game. So... Like, I'm trying to find a happy balance, happy medium, and so, like, but it depends on, like, if you're listening to it with headphones, or you're listening to it just from your laptop, or without headphones on your phone or whatever, so just, so, if you want, let me know if I, if I need to make some changes, like, uh, How can you short making the game a little quieter, or my voice a little louder, or if it's fine. Uh, okay, we need to go travel. Like, we need to go to that place, uh, the little, like, kiosk thing that'll let us travel. It is weird to me that they don't, that these, like, I've been playing so much Dragon Age, I'm like, why don't you guys talk? Blah, blah, blah. Hey. I'm like, aren't there certain areas where you guys will chat, or I can poke you and you'll talk? You can poke them in Mass Effect 1 and they'll, they'll Trust say worse. Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I do know I'm what she... I can, uh... She's in the crime scene where the Justice Car's at. Her her little daily walk. Whoa. So it just comes in by its... Look at that, all by itself. That's so cool. I don't know if I have, how cool I feel, though, with, like, automatic driving. Like, I feel like circuitry could go wrong or something, and then you'd be like, like, you know, just, like, it's like when a roller coaster gets stuck or something, and there's nothing you can do about it, you know? Or if it goes off its rails or something. 
I mean, that, that lady did drive us to the to the Thane's mission at the Dantius Towers, so I'm sure you can drive it if you want. But it looks like some of them are probably just like sort of taxi shuttle services, you know? I mean, even like trams and like ubons and stuff, like they've got a person, you know, on, on either end. Who did I add? We can try this. We'll see. Wait, oh, uh, sure, yeah, let me, let's make sure, you are using the Viper, yes. Okay, good, so he has the battle rifle and the machine, and Thane has a machine pistol. I didn't think about if somebody would have certain dialogue. Where do you think you're going? I don't know if they do, I don't know if anybody has certain dialogue I'm in I'm taking this my goods place. to Omega, detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. She's a good detective. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing <laughs> to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. Yeah. Hey, man, what's up? Look at my eyes. I will burn everything with my eyes. Talk to the locals. Hey, local, you look like a local. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. Why are you in trouble? As if that weren't enough. Some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives. I'm like, oh, good, I'll just her. go then. I've got to get off this world. Hmm. Has Samara actually done anything yet? <laughs> the Asari say that Justicars are leaving. That guy's got some pretty cool armor, that Turian. If they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective. This is kind of like a fun, area, like not so really like a no, 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 yar. Wow. Um. Uh, L.A. No. Why can't I say that word all of a sudden? Oh my gosh! Like a black and white cop film. <laughs> But it's just, it's kind of fun, like, it's just like happening, it's not like I feel like Shepard's like a detective or anything, it just feels like it's like happening around us, and it's kind of cool, like it's a, it, I think, um, the Justicar, uh, Samara, her, uh, her mission is pretty fun, it's pretty unique. Uh, but yeah. You don't seem too broken up no, about your partner's don't. death. No, you don't. Dakni Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Pitney Four. Why? Why would these mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you too? Oh, I remember. <laughs> I have no idea. We're innocent merchants. Innocent merchants! But they killed him, so they must be after me too. I have to work the angles and get out of here. I would not get on the bad side of that Asari why detective. Why do you think it was mercenaries? Dakni Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. I saw his body this morning. They'd used modded rounds. That means Eclipse Mercs. You must know something about these Eclipse. I use modded I rounds. I occasionally do business with them. Are these guys like twins back then? They the same like places, with clan markings on their face. And only after the creds clear. This is a scummy bunch, even by Merc standards. They sell red sand, all kinds of illegal item, and they are all cold-blooded killers. Dun, dun, dun. I should go. Let's see. Uh, are you a detective, or are you like a police officer, detective in training? Or are you, guys? 
cops don't admit it, but the Eclipse sisters run this area. Yee! So no Solarians in that... That, uh... Squad. Elevator appears to need a badge card. Spaceport official. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every Asari does, I guess. I guess they, it's so... It's interesting, like, how hard the Justicar life actually is, but how it's, like, romanticized, like, so intensely. I think that's everybody. Weapons load out. Where's the medical? Yay! Detective, weapons, locker. Ooh, let me just listen in on what's going on. Hello? Nice guns. Try not to use them in my <laughs> district. Thank you. What can you. I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone. But they <laughs> are drawn to impossible causes. We've got that covered. <laughs> if you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. She's a cop, Besides, baby. She's been looking at crime oh, scenes for an hour to lifespans combined. She knows how to handle herself. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My boss Stains is wanting to detain me. her. They're worried she'll cause some kind oh, of cross-species incident. Oh, God. Are your bosses a sorry? Because that would be Just really stupid. Just a code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill it's me. It's good she knows the Jessica code. I have no interest code. in dying. So if you lure her away with some big, noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. We can disobey suicide. <laughs> Why wasn't I told? <laughs> about twice a day. <laughs> I forgot they say that. I'm like, don't even, don't, don't even listen to them. <laughs> uh, oh, I, get, I do get to respond to it. Most of the time, I'm not being stupid about it. <laughs> Most of the time. I'm nice, superiors. I'm a cop, and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her, and I will. Unless That's I can stupid. Your, your, first. your duty is to protect people, not to get yourself killed. Should I? She doesn't sound unprincipled. Uh, let's see. Samara would kill a cop? That doesn't sound very just. She would die defending an honest cop, but she'd fight an army of dirty cops to the death. I admire her dedication, but her presence is still a big problem. I need her gone before I have to carry out my orders. Okay. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. Uh, well, you mentioned a crime scene. Shepard squints a lot when she a talks. The merchant was murdered. It was a professional hit, so we're not dealing with junkies looking for a score. I'm thinking the local Eclipse mercenary band. Can't prove it. But if the Volus was dirty too, maybe it's just a deal gone bad. Hmm. What do I need to know about these mercenaries? Eclipse mercs are professional killers. They sell red sand, trade illegal weapons tech, and smuggle criminals off world. They control some back alleys around here. I haven't been able to find their nest yet, though. And that would be difficult. The cops are almost always a step behind the criminals and like weapons. You know what I mean? Like, and what like cops have principles and what they're allowed and they're constrained by laws. You know, like what they can and can't do. But criminals aren't. So that's always a tough battle. What can you tell me about Justicars? They're a kind of humans. Might call them warrior monks. They live by a complex code that compels them to punish the wicked and protect the pure. They've been a part of Asari culture for millennia. I read adventure stories about Justicars when I was a child. It's so interesting that they that that, that like it, I feel like Justicars are feared, but they're like as when they were when you were an Asari kid, like you read like comic books about them. What do you think of Samara herself? I can't She's think been of a Justicar longer than three of your lifespans. Whoever she was before she swore that oath, that person is dead. People seem nervous about Samara's presence. Asari admire Justicars. We also know that they kill without mercy when they find corruption. And Justicars never leave Asari space. Why is she here? I doubt it's to investigate the murder of some corrupt bolas. Okay. 
So yeah, I think she just happened to get like sidetracked or something by this, but like she can't like not ignore anything bad going down. But I wonder, um, even though the Volus was perhaps corrupt, with I think she would still see killing him as bad. Like, and whoever did it need would need to be punished or something, you know? I have to go. Nod. I like Good this luck. woman. We better find Samara before the detective goes after her. All right, soldiers, let's go. Wait, can I say anything else to you? Is Samara leaving with you, or is she still at the crime scene? She's still there. I have to go. Bye. <laughs> Good luck. We better find Samara. I like how, like, um, like she is like a like a hard bit, hard bitten detective type thing. You know what I mean? Um. If you want to find the Justicar, get the detective to let you into the crime scene. Just don't make the Justicar angry. Now let me think. How do I get off world? Okay, bye. The come after <laughs> I should go. Shepard's just like, I should, I should go. I, I should go. Bye. I, I should go. Oh, I should have tried to go in here and see what, see if they would tell me anything. Anaya told us to let you through. Watch yourself. There's Merc activity back here. We're waiting on backup. It's cool. I am the backup. Iriah, let us get, or let's consider this extra stock surplus. Ship the rest of the facts at his normal destination. He'll never miss a few lost pieces. Return to Ilium and see what happens as a result of poor Mr. Thax about the stolen goods. Go, Gaul! What do I have on? Ooh, I'm fully loaded. Let's keep the shotgun for now. Pow! Nothing? I do like this area, these back alleys. I think it looks really cool. Is there. Oh. Circuit board down here? No? No, yes. Ooh, cool. Wah, bye. Bravo Squad prepped. Alpha Squad went after that just a car 20 minutes ago, and they've gone dark. Hey! Um. Sisterhood initiate. Loki mech. Oh, put that on. Jeez. From the dead. A door. I don't think there's usually anything in these, like in this alleyway, but you never hurts to check. So there's a police line here still. But those eclipse mercs still got back here. I guess the cops were waiting for backup, weren't they? <laughs> Woohoo! Don't move. Those were my best troops. Boys, don't move. Tell me what I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. I think all your troops are basically dead. <laughs> this woman... All Asari have biotics, but this woman lives and breathes biotics. Like, it is a part of her in ways nobody else can... What was the name of the ship Very few people can aspire to. Go to hell. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. And, um, she can break your neck with her heels. Like, with her high heel. Like, holy crap. My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. 
My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? That Merc was wounded and helpless. Do you just kill anyone who won't help you? If my cause is important enough, yes. Are you different? Hmm. I think I said yes I am. Because usually I go up. We'll see. I've killed enemies, but always with good reason. Yeah. I answer to a code that is clearly defined. If my actions are true to that code, I am just. If they are not, I am unjust. I don't pretend it is a simple matter or that it seems right to everyone. But I sleep well at night, ah. and that is more than most can say. Okay. How may I be of service to you? I'm going up against suicidal odds, and I need the best. That's you. I sense the truth in what you say, and it humbles me. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. Trying to deal with this woman would be I cornered her here. Very the interesting. Smuggled her off world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. And whatever she I smuggled wish you were off to go with the human is car. scarier than a Justicar. I'm ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. <laughs> uh, uh, the human is lost here. <laughs> <Can you> clarify? <laughs> I was trying to convince her to leave with you, but just a car is in their code. The detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. And after a day, Samara fights her way out of custody, killing anyone in her way. I am afraid so. I'm like, I can only imagine as a human, like, this woman is just, her presence is awe-inspiring. I think she's probably one of the oldest Asari we've met, you know? And, like, she, like, lives and breathes war, but also this, like, serenity, like, a cold serenity that would be very intimidating, but I feel like Shepard's equal to it, but she's also on unfamiliar territory here, like, not really ex exactly, she doesn't have, like, the cultural embedded knowledge of the Jesticars and the Asari society that an Asari would. There must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. A moment ago, you refused to give up your investigation. But now you'll swear to follow me? If I stay, I will be compelled to kill many innocents to escape incarceration. Like me. <laughs> Shepard, yes, I know. <laughs> my quarry would be free to continue murdering. I doubt you'd be if killed. If I come with you and survive your mission, I can resume my investigation. To do that, I need the ship's name to track her to her next hiding place. It is a simple choice. A slim chance is better than no chance. Indeed. This Justicar code seems quite strict. It may seem so to you, but this is my oath. The expedient path may be fast and simple. That does not make it the right path. This woman is actually the basis of a of a report I did, or not a report. It was like it was a it was a an essay I did actually for a, a Buddhist and existentialism class, and I I have oodles of respect for her. Can you tell me more about Justicars? We are individuals who have forsworn family, children, and worldly possessions aside from some weapons and armor. We travel a sorry space, riding wrong. Yeah, what armor she's got. The ancient code we have each memorized. Ilium may be dominated by a sorry, but it isn't in a sorry space. My quarry fled to this place. I am sworn to hunt her down, and I will follow anywhere she goes. It is rare for a Justicar to leave a sorry space, but I must follow my oath. If I suffer for it, I will accept that. I just like. Her and Thane are like these like pillars of serenity, even though many would consider them cold-blooded killers. Like I don't, just the juxtaposition in their lifestyles, but the fact that like so many people struggle to do good and like don't sleep well at night or something. But these two, like, despite their chaotic lifestyles, still man, like the world swirls around them in 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 chaos and and pain and fear and sorrow but they are like an eye in the storm able to like analyze and react to things outside of them but having an inner peace that is just admir admirable like incredibly admirable do you have any leads 
The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse marks are preparing to kill him. Uh, excuse me. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. Uh, she's one of the only Asari that, um, had, like, her face is very different from other Asari. I don't it's just, it's just how it is. She's got, like, big eyes. I don't trust that, Volus. There's something about it. I know, right? Alright, well, let's go talk to him. Where is he? Where'd he go? I saw, oh, oh, he's way over here? Oh, okay. Hey, buddy! Hello again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? <laughs> Why are the mercs after you? I know nothing about any mercenaries, Earth Clan. I'm merely an innocent merchant trying to make his way in life. The Eclipse are out for your blood. I need your help to break into their base. Shouldn't we work together? <laughs> Look at those eyes! Yes. You're right, Earth Clan. I'm desperate. I've got angry mercs after me, and now this Asari Justicar. Let's talk. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. Mm -hmm. I may have, um forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. Wh wh I, uh, so that seems really stupid. And want to kill me. It sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. Ooh, uh... The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. I don't know why they didn't check for copies. <laughs> See, even as a paragon, Shepard's like, all right, let's just get this but going. Be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. Sometimes it's hard to tell when, like, the little left options, like, there's the investigate, and then there's ones that are above and below it, and it's hard to tell sometimes if those will end the conversation. So, it turns out it ended the conversation. Let's check out, see how they're doing in here. Or, yeah, Samara's just, like, this, like, deadly bird perched over her shoulder. Please don't start trouble about my prisoner. Trust me, I'd release her right now if I could. It's a great honor to have a Justicar here, but I could do without the honor of having her kill me. I'd like to avoid killing the <laughs> Unfortunately, the moment my code dictates I must, I will. There is only the code. She says this kind of thing like she's talking about what to eat for dinner. <laughs> You're not gonna lock her up? Any attempt to put me in a passive restraint system will be regarded as a hostile action and <laughs> I will be forced to attack. Yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> so she keeps her as this, like, really deadly bird with a countdown clock on her shoulder. Can I... Let's see what you... Do you have anything else to say? I hear you can buy red sand from the Eclipse. Yeah! Let's go buy some red sand! No, that stuff is dangerous. In the second book, first book of the Mass Effect uh, series that uh, Drew Carption wrote, uh, one of the main characters is addicted to red sand, and it's quite debilitating. It does, I think, red sand though does give you limited biotic capabilities, even for people who aren't biotic. In there? All right. I thought I had something glowing over here. No? Let's go! I'll tear you up! Ah! You just- No! How many of you are in there? 
Me. 